Scripps Health has officially started using COVID-19 testing that delivers results in as little as five minutes. Testing launched today at its five campuses in San Diego County, but it's currently limited to hospitalized patients. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains how it works. It's um, ideally suited for tackling this coronavirus pandemic. Knowing if you've tested positive for COVID-19 in as little as five minutes can be a game changer. Scripps Health has been testing this for a couple of days and now it's officially available at all five Scripps campuses across San Diego County. This video shows how the test created by Abbott Labs works. It runs on Abbott's ID Now infectious disease testing platform. ID Now is incredibly portable. Portable and about the size of a toaster. The machine uses molecular technology to bring quick and accurate results. Nasal or oral swabs are taken from patients, put into a chemical solution and into the machine. According to Abbott, the solution cracks open the virus and releases its genetic material for the machine to read. Moments later, the results are in. It generates a, an accurate test result in a matter of minutes instead of hours or days. Dr. Gavin Cloherty, head of infectious disease research for Abbott, says ID Now's quick results are especially important during this coronavirus pandemic. That enables the healthcare provider to see a patient, diagnose a patient, and take the necessary interventions in a very short amount of time. So, in as little as five minutes, a patient will know if their test is positive for COVID-19, and in just 13 minutes, they'll know if it's negative. A spokesperson for Scripps Health tells me they have a maximum capacity of 450 tests per day, but right now, these tests are only available to hospitalized patients. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Well, UCSD and Kaiser both tell 10 News they've also started using Abbott's ID Now technology for COVID-19 testing, all happening this week, primarily in situations where doctors need an immediate diagnosis. It is a holy week for Christians across the globe, but this year the pandemic is putting a halt to many Easter traditions. Lockdowns have prevented people from traveling and congregating in St. Peter's Square in Rome. Last year, Pope Francis spent Holy Thursday washing the feet of prisoners, just as Jesus did for his disciples. Today, he is delivering his Last Supper Mass to an empty basilica. This 10 News Pinpoint Weather Report is sponsored by Anderson Plumbing, Heating and Air. Nobody wows clients like we do. Angelica Campos joining us once again, tracking these storms, just hitting one after another. Hi, Kim. Yes, one very large system. And I'm sure when I said on Monday that it was going to be the entire week, most people didn't believe it. But here we are, and we're expecting another day of a flash flood watch in effect. Yes, it goes through 5 p.m. on Friday. And now within this flash flood watch, we have a flood warning. You see it highlighting Mission Valley all the way back to Lex Lakeside. That is along the San Diego River. So I want to show you when it could peak above flood stage. And that would be by tomorrow late in the afternoon and early Saturday before the river will start to go back down. So the hourly breakdown keeps it pretty wet overnight with widespread showers right now. A nice little batch of rain making its way into Oceanside. It's steady from the 78 and Oceanside all the way back towards the 15. But in San Diego, we are still dry. Now that's going to be changing as the rain continues moving east. You see some pretty heavy rain here in the yellows, indicating at least a quarter of an inch per hour. So that's going to be impacting everyone from Encinitas all the way up to Oceanside within the next uh, hour or so and you can see it is still going to be pretty active just offshore with more moisture streaming into the county light snow most of it is starting to melt temperature is heating up just a little bit but there you have it you see it ocean uh, ob rather and pb coronado dry now but you see this wall of rain that's going to be moving east a rain future cast will keep periods of heavy rain. That's 1030. We go through the overnight widespread, a little bit of uh, mixing happening in the higher elevations with periods of heavy rain into tomorrow morning. And it looks like it's going to continue through much of the day until the afternoon when it could start to improve near the coast. But mountains will be dealing with heavy rain and possible thunderstorms. So there's that 100% chance, another round of possible light showers on Sunday. But in comparison to what we've seen so far, it's going to be very light. In our 10 News Pinpoint 7-day forecast, coastal areas as well as our inland communities could see anywhere from 1 to 2 inches of additional rain 
from today through tomorrow. Temperatures will hover in the low 60s, then drier Saturday with possible showers and a touch of drizzle on Monday. Next week should be much warmer. That warm up will start on Tuesday. We could see 80s in our inland communities. So we're literally going from winter weather to almost late spring weather with temperatures reaching 80s next week in our inland communities. But for now, I think most people are ready to say goodbye to this storm that's been here way too long. Kim, back to you. <laughs> Yes, we'll be ready for the sunshine. Thank you, Angelica. A local woman trying to give back to the restaurant that she says gave her so much. Their employee and manager, you know, I want to try my hardest to help out anywhere I can. How they're adjusting to this new normal together. We're Open San Diego is a commitment from ABC 10 News to tell stories of local restaurants and businesses fighting now more than ever to make it in San Diego. And 10 News reporter Vanessa Paz spoke with a woman who wants to give back to her employer. For Oceanside resident and manager of Panca Peruvian restaurant, Tara Wise, the road hasn't always been easy. When I started with Yoli and Miguel, I um, had just got gotten out from doing my third prison term and had um, really wanted to change. And so I was in rehab and this girl that I was <clears throat> in rehab with had suggested like, hey, you should apply for this job. It'd be perfect. That's when restaurant owners Yola and Miga Montoya entered her life eight years ago, ultimately helping her turn things around. The role of officially was a cashier, mm -hmm. you know, so it, it was just a couple days during the weekend and um, I was the cashier there. I think three days I had like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. and then um, it just progressively, like, I got more involved. Since then, this small little restaurant nestled in an Oceanside shopping center felt less like work and more like home. You know, it's, it's very important to, you know, to have that type of relationship with, with everybody because, you know, you want to make it so that everybody comes to work, you know, and enjoy what they're doing. I'm going to be um, happy with everybody that works for us. They're really, like great people, like I can be more lucky. Through eight years together, Tara says the Montoyas taught her how to cook as if she was in culinary school and even provided Spanish lessons here and there. I mean, they've been involved in like with my kids, you know, they were at my wedding. It's kind of been like us together. Recently, her new version of home hit a speed bump like many other small restaurants when the coronavirus hit. The first week uh, we actually closed down to figure out how we were gonna manage um, and whether we were going to reopen. And to adjust, they minimized their menu, created an online ordering option, and even added to-go items that customers can freeze and eat, like their signature empanadas. Just like the Montoyas were there for Tara, she wants to be there for them. For me, as their employee and manager, you know, I want to try my hardest to help out anywhere I can. Working around the clock and helping to adjust to this new reality, she knows her new family will get through this together. I know they're such good people and like what we have at our restaurant is so special. Vanessa Paz for 10 News. If you have a business or you know one supporting San Diego, we want to tell your story. Email us at tips at 10 newscom a local family says it has a plan to save Easter. Coming up, the parade that's in the works. And federal detainees say conditions behind bars are deteriorating. Why